Today I'm going to start a series of demos uh, to show how to set up Kubernetes and in increasing levels of complexity on Fedora 24. So today I'm going to uh, do a demo of just doing an all-in-one Kubernetes install uh, without TLS on a single node and uh, show that it doesn't take very long at all to get that setup working. So uh, in order to show you that there's no hand waviness going on, uh, I'm going to start a VM here uh, from scratch. So I haven't done anything ahead of time. So we'll just call this master and start that. And then assign it a floating IP. All right, and that should be up soon. already be up. All right, so there we go. We got a brand new uh, Fedora 24 cloud install. So the, the, what, the first thing we're going to do is install um, Kubernetes and etcd. Let me check on this, but I'm pretty sure that Kubernetes package installs both the master and node packages as soon as the metadata syncs here. I would do this ahead of time, but then I would have done something ahead of time, which was I get to the uh, idea of the video. All right. So yes, so we got the client master and node here. It's uh, the node has a dependency on Docker. So Docker's coming in. And uh, yeah, so we'll do this. So just to go a quick overview of the uh, components of Kubernetes, you have the master components, which are the API server, the controller manager and the scheduler, all those run on the master node on the um, client node, I'll just say master and node to make the distinction. Uh, on the node, there's a program called the kubelet, which manages Docker on the node, and then in the kube proxy, which manages IP table rules to route uh, Kubernetes services. Then etcd is required for the API server as a backing store, a key value store that's watchable for the API server to store resource configurations in. So we've got those installed now. Um, and now all we need to do is uh, all of the services are configured to work over local host by default. And so for an all in one, uh, there's actually no configuration required. So I'm just going to uh, enable and start all of the um, Kubernetes components and, and dependent components. So uh, Docker and the kube proxy. And so that is all there is to that. And we can do status just to make sure everything is green. Everything is green. So if I run cube control uh, get nodes, we see that localhost is listed as a node because we're running our master and uh, node on the same machine. And if we want to, we can even spin up a pod. So we got, let's. Uh, Create a Fedora pod. And I've got this all written so I don't have to make all the typos and YAML files here. But basically, I'm going to, I'm going to create a pod called demo. It's going to pull down the Fedora 24 image and just go to sleep for forever. And I'll uh, do a cube control exec into it to show that it's running. And that'll be pretty much the end of it. Uh, so we'll just create that pod with cube control create file Fedora. Oh, there is one thing that I forgot to change here. So let's uh, go into the one Kubernetes file that we need to change, and that's the API server. Here, uh, because we don't have TLS set up, uh, the service account uh, admission controller requires that. So just take that out of the list, and we are going to system control restart uh, cube API server. All right, and then we'll try that create again. And there we go. And if we do a cube control 
uh, get pods and watch. We can see that the demo pod is currently in container creating state. That means that Docker is currently pulling the Fedora 24 image down from the Docker hub. And as soon as it does that, it will ex execute the container and the, con and the pod will be in running state. And that should happen soon, hopefully. Yes, all right. So then we've got cube control uh, exec and we can e execute into that pod. Uh, basically the master connects to the cubelet and lets us uh, do controls. And this works for even if your uh, container is not on the local node as it is in this case. So I can just uh, give the name of the pod and then because there's only one container, I don't have to specify the container. Pods can have multiple containers. Um, and then do bin bash. And here we are, we're inside the container. So that's all that's required to get Kubernetes uh, running in an all-in-one configuration on Fedora 24.